so I um, read your guys's things, and today we are going to be looking at Hermit Crab Care. So you can see um, about six inches worth of the substrate. I'm going to be going through what you basically need. So, I mean, if you look, there's not much in there because the dudes are buried. Uh, the little one, uh, Clasher, and the bigger one being... Wait, uh, the bigger one's Clasher, the little one's Basher, but I'm gonna wait like a couple more months till we have to change the substrate because you gotta keep it, you know, like every two to three months you're gonna have to do it. So, Hermit Crab Care, this is how it is. Now, when your Hermit Crab is molting, it's gonna take two almost maybe over a month for them to get it like that, and they gotta get it's gonna take a couple months. For you to fully hang them out and two two dots on the underside and those are called genopores and that will be a female and if there's no genopores on the two dots on the underside of their belly when they go out that means they are a male no genopores male genopores female just gonna get that straight now these are purple pinchers and you're going to want some pretty big shells offline. I just got a big pack here. And um, you could find these purple pinchers at Petco. Um, PetSmart maybe has them, but Petco, they're really common there. And also, um, let's just go right into the substrate. So you're six inches at the minimum, at least, for maximum bur burrowing. And you're like... At the pet store in their enclosure where you take them out they're like and it's like down on the ground and it's like mulch stuff like no nah the only reason why they're just like tucked in their shells all the time because they're sleeping they're nocturnal like they drink they eat they bathe and yeah they pretty much burrow through the day and burrows and they love to climb so you're gonna need a climbing stick and all of that stuff you're also gonna need a cave they love to go in the cave you're gonna need lots of space you're gonna have a have a heat lamp like this uh and then you're supposed to get a bulb that's daylight blue also right here on the back side right here I don't know if you can see that or not, but that little patch right there, it's actually pretty warm. That keeps it sort of like moist and stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and um, go over the things you need to go. This is the water sprayer, and you're going to need this to like dampen down all of the spots just to keep it moist and from not molding. And keep it really humidity, and you're gonna need a temperature like the clock's about right there. Don't know if you could see that, but it's right there. So you are going to need one of those, and it's gonna be 80 to around 75 in your house. So you're gonna have to need heat lamp and heat on the side that just like pretty much makes it from that. that get that clear? Now, your hermit crab's gonna need water, so just like simple old bottled water will just do the trick, get your dish down, pour it up just to barely the rim so they could climb in, go in there, drink it up with that. So that's really why you're just gonna need this, pour it up to just the brim, so that's gonna be like that. Hermit crab meal. Now this stuff right here, yeah, that's what you're going to have to use for your hermit crabs. And it's really sort of like this sand brown, as you can see. So it's it, it smells just like fish food if you ever own a fish. And this is good. And it's good for all land crabs and stuff. So Tetra, it's really good food meal. And it's really good for hermit crabs. They love this stuff. And you'll actually um, have to put this like little it, like shake it like barely just enough because they don't eat that much. Rather, um, 
do a lot more things rather than eat, drink, and then bathing. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Now, lots of people uh, really, like, forget salt water. To getting salt water, they just pour pour bottled water rather than tap water because you're going to have to get dechlorinated. And then you're going to have to put the mixture in just a drop to make it in salt hot water. Well, we just use this. It, it, it's really easy. So you need one tablespoon of this natural sea salt right here. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to put it into 16 ounces or one cup of bottled water. And there is nine left over, so that's when you're going to pour the rest of the nine ounces into your uh, squirt container, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you're going to want to stir it up. Then you're going to want to pour it in your bottle uh, with, and label it your salt water bottle because... They're just, they look the same. So here we have the. Um, so we have the old salt water one, as we labeled it. And this is fresh water salt water, so you're gonna want to label it with Sharpie so it never runs off and stuff. And um, so that's your salt water. This is your fresh water. Got it? Like that. Now we're going to get into the more um, really natural stuff. So, as I say, so you're going to need one of these. Your hermit crab, well, they're going to take their dung in their shell, and when they come out of their shell, or when they shake it out, you're going to want to sift through your sand, and, and it's brown and sort of larger than the activated charcoal pills, which we're going to go over just in a little minute with the substrate. So you're going to want one of these. Everything's from Petco. And we also got from Lowe's, Petco, and online for all the stuff. So basically, that's really where we got all the stuff. Most stuff is from Petco's, including the crabs themselves. And they are in here. It's just, you'll find them buried mostly for a month or two after. And they're actually still buried in there. Well, I'll show you both of them for that. So stay tuned, because about in a couple weeks they'll be out in new shells so I can actually name them and there's this one really cool shell that looks like a caramel drizzle so I'll name them caramel drizzle makes sense you know or drizzle or um caramel drop or whatever really and depends on their shell personality color really anything can name them and mostly on the gender after a few months and they're ready to come out and more comfortable with you really take them so that's one point and the other point is that when you're going to take out your salt water you're going to do this around daily you're going to scoop the water out with a deep dish like a tablespoon put it into a random cup like this Pour it down the drain, then put your new salt water in this cave. You see that cave right there? It actually has a sun, um, sun tanning on top. That's, that's weird. Sun bathing on the top right there. On the top right there. And then also there is a very deep pool to completely submerge in and still have enough air. And that's where all the salt water will go. And you will see this right here. And there is actually tin foil on this side, so, I mean, they have some shade if they want to go to the other side when they do come up. Now into the substrate. Now for substrate, you're going to want to need um, some moss of some type that, that is of some type from the pet store's um, listing. If you really go online, it'll say whatever this stuff is i just forgot it really because it's been like four weeks rather yeah so really what i'm trying to say here is that um so that moss you're gonna just want to take it you're gonna want at least one cup of this okay and now for the play sand you could get like play sand from lowe's just one big bag of it for um what was it? Yeah, five dollars. Also, you want to get some natural river rocks and have about like half an inch layer on the ground. Then you want to have like six inches about worth of substrate, just to be sure. 
and also one thing you're gonna need five cups of that and then activated charcoal pellets and rocks you're gonna need one a quarter cup of that and put that in there as well and you're also gonna need some coconut fiber and you're gonna need one um, full cup of that once it's fully soaked for 30 to 25 minutes at least where it's like moist and then you're gonna want to put it on paper towel and then let that dry and then you could just scoop it up like that and then pour that into the bucket mixture and then just pour it right here like I did now that's really the main ingredients of that. And you're going to want like a little food dish like that. And you're going to want like a sort of oval thing that they actually can walk into. And you're going to like have like the biggest shells you could all possibly find for them to just go in. And you got to have a lot wide selection. You see, we have five of them in here, all big, big enough for them to fit into. Maybe not this so much a uh, brown one right here this little brown one right here not so much for that but that's really I listed all of the um really all of the um temperatures uh, substrates um timing food heat moisturization um, what they need for shelter, burrowing, and you're also going to need a climb stick as well. And then you could just decorate it like I did with making mossy stuff. So that's really uh, a tutorial to really having hermit crabs. I didn't do it as well as the other ones. So, and you're going to want to have like a, about like a, like, so like rather like a tenant, like, I'd say like a it's around like a one foot tall and then like one and a half feet so it's like a 10 by 10 or whatever you might call it but you're also going to sort of want let me just take this lamp down and you can see it's a blue color so blue daylight and um you're gonna want one of these mesh things so like you see that that's like sort of like mesh and then that's where the tin foil is. And so you're gonna want this so they don't climb at you. And like I was saying later, with the climbing things, you're gonna want one of these boys. And then you're just gonna want some like natural moss. That. And then you're gonna need like some big shells. You might get, see I got this one from the pet store right here. And then this browner version came online. It's like a tanner version. This is the one I was talking about with that caramel drizzle. Really beautiful. This is what I was talking about with that sort of brownish, like that. It's a bit bright. And then the biggest one so far, look at how big that gap is. Yeah, and they're not really that big, so I'm pretty interested to leave that in there, like that. And such and so. That is basically the Hermit Crab Guide you guys were looking for. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, we'll see you in the next one.